Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan, today's show is brought to you by Mosey Pro. That's right. And this is the Android App Show episode number 83, which was a good year, I think. Uh, but we're covering CES 2012 today. So uh, let's get to it. Welcome to the Android App Show. is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? All right, CES 2012 episode number 83. Yeah! Talking about some pretty big uh, developments this year that have come out. I know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. We're not gonna get, gonna get into the minutia of what went on at CES no 2012. It's, it's a little bit too deep, but uh, there's a couple of big things to report on this year. Mm-hmm. Mainly the return of Google TV. Uh, Dave, did you think this was ever gonna happen? I I've heard. I mean, the rumors of its death were greatly exaggerated. Yeah. I think that what hasn't been greatly exaggerated is the failure of the Intel platform. So, dude, my Google TV, I upgraded it. It's like a snail now. Yeah, like even playing Netflix, kind of, like the Netflix app is totally not optimized for it. Yeah, it's it's not very uh, reactive. Yeah. Let's say responsive. Not at all. Yeah, I feel uh, like I, I did play. There was a game for it with like this bird that was kind of like uh, angry. No, 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 no. The what the heck was the other one where you're doing these? Uh, you got these hills and you have to slide up and down. Uh, I don't know. It's been ripped off a million times. It came from the iOS beak? platform. Beak, beak, baby. No, but <laughs> uh, needless to say, what, what, what I'm getting to though wings is, of fury. No, <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. I could do this all night. One of them is a penguin. This one's a dragon, though. Uh, and uh, you have to go over these hills and stuff and get all these uh, combos by doing the hills right. Anyway, the game was kind of eh on there, and it had a lot of loading, and it was a very simple game. Yeah. So just not very responsive. Um, but these new Google TVs are all uh, coming with ARM processors now, you know, dual-core processors, uh, pretty good, like... Uh, High end phone, yeah, flexing uh, with uh, Look at that muscle. Look both at that biceps. Muscle. <laughs> you can lift with one, both arms instead of just one. Dual. Yeah. Uh, and the other cool thing is a lot of manufacturers <coughs> that were previously uh, relying on their own software, like if you want to get an overall shot right here, it says, uh, who's this guy right here? Vizio. Uh, they have their smart TV stuff, which you liked, right? It was a yeah. little slow. It, yeah, it was really slow. It was like, it felt like Yahoo widgets. Yeah. That, Which is that's really a good what gadgets. Is, aren't they gadgets, gadgets or are they widgets? I don't know. Yeah, it's Google gadgets. No, it's and it's Microsoft gadgets. It's Yahoo widgets and Apple widgets. Yeah, and that wasn't even yeah they acquired somebody. Remember back when those were big deals? Well, this uh, Vizio now they've said you know what it's not worth investing in our own software. We're gonna go ahead and use Google and layer some you know schmutz on top of it and call it customization. You know, like they're what those, doing. What do those look like? Do they look any good? Uh, it, it looks it looks pretty good. I like the what they're doing with the remotes too. They're different from the Sony or Logitech thing. Uh, more yeah. like real remotes. So, oh, cool. I think that a lot of these people are coming to the sense that Samsung is doing it too. They they both have their own operating system for TVs, and they're realizing number one, it costs too much money to keep it updated, add new features, uh, all this other good stuff, and number two. It costs a lot of money t- and time, and it's a big gamble to attract developers right. to your platform. Is Samsung going? Is Samsung on the Yeah, Samsung is oh, going. Oh, wow. Wow. So uh, with Vizio and Samsung, oh. I you know, you pretty much have the high end and the low end covered. I mean, Vizio, I call them low end, but they're good panels. They're just cheap. Yeah. You know, affordable. Affordable. Whatever. Walmart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's, that's uh, that's I think. That's that one. And I, I'm probably wrong then because like, <laughs> but I'm yeah. pretty sure that Google, uh, that Vizio is an American company too. These nope. are produced inside America? Nope, not at all. No? Okay. Completely I thought wrong. I read that somewhere. It's a completely like Taiwanese company. Oh, okay. It's like completely opposite of that actually. Okay. <laughs> they have no ties to America. Awesome. 
Well, whatever. I should not. It's okay. It was surprising that, that, that if there was, somebody would actually make something in the United I, States, you know. Like the what the new iPhone processor is being made in the United States. Too. Texas. So, good for them. Yeah. Uh, speaking of processors, the other big thing to come out of CES so far is this $250 Whoa. Asus uh, NVIDIA quad-core tablet. So You get like 7 inches for that much, too. Yes, it's 7 inches, which is my preferred form factor right, yeah. uh the other tablet you might have heard of the transformer prime very high mm-hmm. end quad core tablet with the extra fifth core mm-hmm. uh that it runs on when it, it, you're not doing much shit, so it saves a lot of battery didn't they make a movie about that the uh fifth core no, no you're thinking of the fifth element uh, the transformers prime oh. oh yeah yeah which is better transformers or fifth element fifth element yes of course because fifth element has boobs what do you want um <laughs> And there was Megan Fox just can't compete with Bruce Willis. And let's see. we <laughs> This also comes with uh, Android 4.0. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Uh, we don't really know when it's going to be released or what the other specs are. But, you know, what are you, uh, you going to do? It's CES and everybody's kind of, oh, look at what I got here. No, you can't really look too close mm. at it. But No, because it's a ninja. It. Yes. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. Uh Android is finally going to be able to compete on price. So mm-hmm. when it comes to these Google TVs, being yep. on ARM chips means the price is going to go down. Yeah, uh, It's been widely reported that the reason the, the previous boxes were so expensive was because Intel. Right. So an Intel showing off a new spec device or whatever that says they could run Android phones now, but... <sighs> They just you can't compete with ARM on low on the low powered stuff. Yeah. Adam just isn't there, right? So it's, this Medfield stuff, I don't think that that's uh, that's really gonna save them either. But two hundred fifty dollars for a quad core tablet, that's half the price of an iPad, and it's only got two cores. For now, yes, and you can carry one of these in your pocket. Can't carry an iPad in your pocket. For now, yeah. Well. You're, we'll you're totally right. <laughs> you're totally right. Uh, you see those people stitching special ones in the back, you know? <laughs> but I'm pretty excited. We said a long time ago, like when Honeycomb first came out, that tablets have to compete on cost. You yeah. can't price the same as the iPad. People just no. don't see it, you know? <clears throat> but, but, dude, like when the iPad came out, that was groundbreakingly low in it price. It was. It was. It's crazy how, like, it's crazy how fast the market has, like, been like reduced yeah now we got dropped. kindle fires for 200 bucks <laughs> and i've used one of those kindle fires yeah uh yeah my stepdad has one it is yeah, awesome it's not bad you know what you know what they're doing with this kindle fire they are it, like when you use it every single thing on it has a link right to the store to buy more of those things <laughs> apps books everything yeah so it is a purchase mindset device like the ipad see all these android phones and everything the market was kind of like uh people were getting android phones without the purchase mindset Mm -hmm. uh, and you had to open the app to purchase this has uh buy stuff everywhere in the operating system yeah so they get they are selling it for a couple dollar loss but i guarantee you within a couple weeks they have made up Mm -hmm. you know for that loss so yeah it's one of those things that you don't buy and not buy an app for like, or books. Or books. That's yeah. the thing for Android, even and I think in, on the iPad, buying books is not as big of a deal. Yeah. But for the Kindle, it's that mindset right away. You buy stuff on Kindles, you buy books, right? And it, it's just the purchase mindset, well, it's and it's Amazon. moving beyond apps and music. I mean, I'd like to see the numbers on, uh, you know, eventually. I'm sure we might be able to get some assumed, figured out numbers mm-hmm. out, you know, that come out. But I want to see. Uh, quarter to quarter, a head-to-head match of how many books are being sold on both platforms, and I'm willing to bet uh, that oh, yeah. per user, that the Kindle is selling more, and that's going to easily translate to movies and TV shows and Absolutely. all that other good stuff. So, I agree. All right, I'm done with that spiel. Let's review some apps. Oh no, hold on, Lane. Oh, I'm I'm excited, but you know what else I should be excited about? What? Somebody that's helping us bring you this podcast. That's right. Mosey. Not just Mosey. Mosey Pro. Mosey Pro. They are pros. They are pros at what they do. Uh, So Mosey Pro, uh, when it comes to running a successful business, there are many things you have to get right. Like hiring good people is one of them, but um, what's often overlooked 
is protecting your data. And uh, it, your data is really what powers your business. Yeah, it's crazy how important data is and how much people take it for granted. Uh, like 12,000 laptops are stolen at airports every single week. Wow. That's a lot of laptops. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that when when also another statistic is if your business is it doesn't have data for more than 10 days, there's a 50% chance that you'll... Um, file for bankruptcy. And it has to do with you know natural disasters and everything. Uh, it makes yeah. it so hard to just resume operations when yeah. you've lost everything. If it's gone. And it's gone. that's the other problem too that people face, you know, keeping it up to date. And it's remarkably easy to use Mo- Mosey because it's done automatically, incrementally at every device level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a good example of that, uh, there's a, a small business owner, we'll call her Lauren. And uh, she had an IT job, but she left her IT job to pursue a uh, a dog boarding and daycare facility because she liked walking the puppies. And, you know, that's a good gig. Have the kids walk it. the dogs. Pays for itself. There you go. <laughs> or or get a, get out and get a little fresh air. You know, we could, we could both need that. Uh, but she had all of her client files and everything on external hard drives. Mm. And, you know, those died. And that's not good. Yeah, you just ran up a creek. Yeah, I mean, it's like stepping in a pile (laughs) of dog (laughs) doo-doo. And then slipping and falling into another pile of bigger doo-doo. Right, (laughs) because you need to bill those people and manage all that stuff and, you know, keep all the dogs' names. And your account links, they have those files. (laughs) Yeah, that's (laughs) good. So uh, They don't like, oh, just trust me. (laughs) (laughs) No, they don't. I know that. Uh, But So she switched over to Mosey Pro. And she said, I chose Mosey Pro for its simplicity, automatic scheduling, and wonderful customer service. So, yeah, in, in real simplicity. And, like, you don't have to worry about what kind of computer you have. If it's a Mac or a PC, uh, it just works. Yeah. And uh, if your business is not backed up with Mosey Pro, you just you really, 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 really have to make sure that you have that stuff backed up, like, like every day. Like, before you walk out of your house, you got to be like, did I back up? Yep, all of a sudden the place burns down when you're before, not there. Before well, you back out of the driveway, you got to back up. Yes, back oh. up. Oh. <laughs> or you just get Mosey Pro. Yeah, give our friends at Mosey a call. They've been doing this a long time. They run the most secure, most trusted online backup service. That's no joke. Right now, you can save 15% by using the promo code PODCAST15. All is one word uh, when you go to the site. Or you give them a call. You know, Either yeah, way, PODCAST15. Just- How can they... Use podcast fifteen well, to save can, money. Tell them, Dave. Uh, one way is to give them a call. That's eight seven seven six six nine nine seven seven six, or eight seven seven six six nine nine seven seven six. Boom. Or to visit Mosey Pro, <laughs> MoseyPro dot com, and that is Mo M O Z Y Mosey Pro back it up yeah and podcast 15 come on guys podcast 15 it's awesome you know there's <laughs> it's almost as awesome as these apps that we're gonna review yes dude we found some killer ones some more fun you've been you've been spending a lot of time using your tablets recently haven't you yeah yeah we got a new tablet to uh new tablet to the bunch. To review the motorola Zyboard mm-hmm. 8.2 inch a new little baby Tablet? No, it's a Motorola yeah. Droid Zyboard. Yeah. What's Whatever. up with that? It's a droid tablet. Droidified. For all your droiding needs, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty sick tablet. We're going to be reviewing it in uh, another couple episodes. Uh, so watch out for that. Pretty sick stuff. I love this tablet. It looks pretty beautiful. But let's uh, let's see. What's our first app we have uh, for review? Crud. What is that? I forgot what it is. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, here it is. Reckless Getaway. Boop. Whoops. Where is it? There it is. It's Reckless. Didn't we <laughs> We did, like, Reckless Driving last week, didn't we? Yeah, we did Reckless Driving. I I downloaded both of these. I'm like, I don't want to do them both. I could have done a, a Reckless episode. Oh, my gosh. That would have been fun. Yeah, so this um, is $1.99, though. Yes. Keep that Buck in mind. $1.99. Uh, we previously re- we've reviewed both the apps that we're doing today on the iPad show, mm. uh, but 
you know, whatever. I got to play with them, and I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, We're yeah. Doing this on the Android show. <laughs> so let's let's pull this up here. Reckless Getaway. Ooh. It's a polar bit game. Polar bit. Pretty exciting. How's the sound? It's a little quiet. No, I don't even want it to break the game. That's okay, I'm turning it up. I can hear it. Alright, so let's pull up the options here. First, you got your regular sound controls for effects and music. Uh, You can change the sensitivity of the buttons. You can also use tilt steering if you want to. Mm -hmm. Don't really recommend that. Never. Uh, Help credits and select a language if you speak something else other than English. If you start the game, you got two different modes that you can go into. Uh, getaway is just your pretty standard chase. Uh, here. You start out on a tutorial, and then you have these four levels to beat. Uh, between the tutorial and these four levels, you have to have ten stars uh, before it lets you get to the next set. And it keeps on going. You have to have 22. Keep on this one, 34, 42, before it lets you move on. So let's pull up one of these. Absolutely. Robbery in progress. Now we gotta get away. You got left and right buttons to whoa, whoa. to go left and right. Uh, it gives you a little bit of mid air action so that you can uh, change. Oh my! Yeah. It does. It isn't like real physics. So like you notice that ramp yeah. when you go half up it, you know, half on, half off. It doesn't flip the car. Right. So uh, and when you're in air, so you can hold left and it'll. <laughs> It'll pull the car to the left in midair, so it's got those uh, Mario physics. Oh, you know. yeah. Um, that makes it fun, though. But what the, one of the problems is, though, when you're turning like that, when you're trying to pull yourself one way in the air, yeah. it turns the car, so as soon as you land, yeah. you'll go in that direction, and that, that can be pretty uh, pretty bad. Um, you get different bonuses and stuff for passing cars without destroying them. Uh, for destroying cars and uh, of course destroying cop cars too. What if you land on one? Uh, yeah, that's like a sandwich bonus or something. Like that. There's something for it. But you collect different things. Uh, the question marks are power ups, and see on the right side where I have that little car with the three next to it. Uh, yeah. That's like a sonic thing or whatever that disorients all the cars around you when you touch it. Uh-huh. Collect coins and get more coins. Ooh, you don't want to wreck. You get caught up against the wall or you wreck or something. Oh. That's bad. You lose 2,000 points. You're not a man anymore. It's just, it's bad. It's a nice little car you got there, though. Yeah, see, 500 points for destroying the car. You get 700 for destroying cop cars. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the thing. When you wreck, every time you wreck it, reduces the total amount of stars that you can possibly get. So you see on the top left up there, two of my stars are marked out. Yeah. It's kind of wrecked. So you <coughs> want more stars on the level, right? Oh. Ooh. Giant jump. Oh. Very nice. There we go. He did okay. You can play it over again if you want to get a higher score or whatever. Or if you just hit continue, it goes up to here. No, mm-hmm. I gotta get two more stars, so then I can either go back to those easier levels and try and get three stars now that I'm better at playing it than you know when I first played those levels, or I can just keep playing on uh, the higher levels and try and get more stars there. So, but they also have online leaderboards if you want to sign up for that. I don't know for me. I just, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm probably not as good as other people online anyway. So, I'll just keep track of my own high scores and live in my own offline world. So, let's take a, a quick uh, back tick here to Reckless. Just getting Reckless. Reckless is a little bit different game mode. You got this giant truck. Oh. And, uh, yeah. You have to pretty much like destroy everything. I think. <laughs> uh, but it plays totally different when you have something that you can just boss around the entire uh, track, you know. Whereas before, like you get hit, you run into too many cars and everything. 
It just slows you way down. Yeah. It's too hard to knock stuff off. So it's not really worth pushing it. But yeah, this is a lot more fun. Boom. <laughs> right off. Oh, sorry, cow car. Get out of here. Oh. 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 Sorry about that. Oh. All right. That's enough for that. <laughs> that looks fun. So that's it, folks. That is Reckless Getaway. And it's a buck ninety nine on the market. Uh, pretty good. Nice little app. Uh, tons of gameplay. You'll get hours and hours. So uh, two dollars is nothing. It plays well on tablets and on phones. Uh, though it doesn't sync up your progress. So there you go. I wish more games did than that kind of stuff. But yeah. you know, you gotta have an update coming forward. You know, you can't give me everything right away. Yeah, like a game center kind of thing. Uh, no more. See, what I want is like Angry Birds to know that I beat these levels and got this score on my tablet and automatically sync that to my phone. Right. So that if I beat more, boom, it's done. Like Game Center doesn't really do that. It could. Yeah. It should. Yeah, it'd be nice. Like a feature of iCloud or something. That's a free one for you, developers. <laughs> yeah. We're full of it. Yeah. But having scores and stuff sync up, yeah, it, it seems like a no brainer <clears throat> to me. Uh, you could probably tie that into a service like Open Faint if you don't want to set up everything by yourself. So, all right, uh, let's move on to the next app to review. It's another game. Uh, I had a different app I wanted to review instead of two games this week, but the other app sucks so bad I didn't even want to bring it up. So, sorry guys. Uh, on to the game. This one is called Sonic CD. Yes, that's right. You remember when they came out with the Sega CD? Yeah, they had like the the big base platform and stuff and it was cool hook both the things together on there and it was crazy because they had all the videos in between of like you play the game and then they'd had videos yeah and it was much better than what they had on sega or it Nintendo. was like a, it was like a freaking movie yeah the music on it just completely CD quality. off the chain yeah digital cd quality oh man yeah so sonic cd uh has been ported to android so yes, it has. pretty awesome stuff Kind of like the four ninety nine though. Yeah, four ninety nine. It's expensive. Four ninety nine is awesome. But you know the nostalgia, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. So here we go, Sonic CD. Let's hear it. Sega. Oh yeah, oh. that's the sound I like. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, who's that dude? Yeah, I don't know if he's the guy that poured it or whatever. <laughs> Uh, this is crazy. You know, you got your regular game, uh, mm -hmm. time attack, the levels, options, uh, instructions, whatever. <laughs> if you don't know how to play Sonic, you must be living underneath a, uh, a rock somewhere. Uh, you can change how you do the spin dash, uh, original or Genesis. I like Genesis. Yeah. Uh, you can change the music and sound effect levels, but why do that when you can just go back and play the game? Here we go, folks. This is what it looks like. Oh, yes. The music and everything. You get an on screen joystick here, uh, which does really good for tapping and for uh, constant screen contact with your thumb. So, uh, kind of have the best of both worlds. I don't know. I'm of two minds of this because I like joysticks that disappear and reappear whenever you put your thumb down and automatically center. The GUIs? Yeah, and this one does not do that. The GUI sticks? Yeah. This one is like very static. Yeah. So, it is what it is though. Well, this music is so good. And then you have an A button on the right, which is really all you need. All right, let's, let's do this thing. Trying to get over there. There we go. So, just some of the craziest gameplay on this version. I don't know if you've ever played it in the, in the original. <laughs> no. Uh, this I'm one is good. just kind of a... I don't know. A lot of pinball. Uh, some different stuff, you know, introduced with this past and future uh, check-ins that you do. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, these pop-up things that come up. Like, after you start on a uh, curved edge, uh, then a... Uh, Booster pops out. 
so I haven't played this level yet, I'm kind of lost, I can't really talk about it and figure it out. But yeah, much more puzzle oriented some of these things are than the original. Jeez. This thing's kicking my butt. I didn't have this problem like up to this point and then when I go to review the app, I suck at it. Yeah. There we go. And it's let me out. <laughs> oh look, that was a bad guy right in front of me that I didn't yeah. see. <laughs> that was awesome, man. some progress so I mean it pretty much just goes on and on like this and you probably won't spend five dollars on this app unless you uh, already played Sonic and you want this awesomeness in your life so right yeah, I don't really know if I have to explain the gameplay <laughs> A button does these uh, pinball things or whatever. Gosh, this stuff is good. I just remember when this was just like the best. Yeah. Incredible. Because, I mean, Nintendo was good. It had a good selection. But, like, the quality of graphics on the Sega, it, it just couldn't be beat. Right. And, you know, you could hate on it, but you could get games with blood and gore. See, that's what we need. We need ports of, you know, forget uh, Street Fighter. I want some blood and gore ports of Mortal Kombat to end Yeah. Up. Old school Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like the Sega version, you know. Street Fighter. Where you hit them and blood comes out and all that other good stuff. Uh-huh. Not the, uh, the wussy Nintendo version. Right. Which, you know, I had the Nintendo version, so but let's be honest with ourselves. It was no Sega. <laughs> yeah. Just wasn't the real thing. My mom wouldn't let me go over to one of my friends' houses because he had the real version. Oh! Those were the days. <laughs> 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 like, doesn't that seem so silly? Like, some low, what is now considered, like, low-quality graphics of blood and stuff. And yeah. Like, it's like, oh, I don't know. This is such a violent, nasty-looking video game. Are you serious? There we go. All right. Man. This thing is just so much harder than the original Sonic. The games these days are just all uh, eye candy. This one is just a little more. Yeah. It just keeps getting better and better, I guess. But that's uh, that's Sonic CD. Look at the awesome soundtrack. That's what can't be beat. <laughs> the soundtrack. All right, that's four ninety nine on the Android market. Get it now. You know you want it. Some Sonic and Tails action. I gotta get. Tails. I gotta get far enough in here. I gotta get Tails. I don't have it unlocked yet. <sighs> Too bad. All right. Well, you can unlock some uh, more of these episodes and some links to all of our other cool stuff that we do online at theandroidappshow dot com. Mm-hmm. Just go there. Click there can read all the show notes and everything uh we have links in the show notes i don't know if a lot of people realize that very handy thing totally handy makes it a lot um, easier to find the apps we review <laughs> right i guess you can type it in but links are good um because you can install it right from the browser boom right? yeah right That's to your stuff. device or if you're on your device it'll redirect <laughs> you to the market and then you can install mm-hmm. there yeah, so. if you want some more links though you can also follow us on twitter uh just real simple at Android App Show. Just follow us on there. We'll engage us in conversation. It's always fun. Yeah, and if you want some shorter form content, or, you know, or to watch these full length episodes, uh, go to youtubecom slash show. Uh, we have all of our full length episodes posted up on there, or we will <laughs> soon. I think oh. I, I think I'm a couple behind, but uh, we also do shorter experimental content on there. So uh, if you want to check out that, uh, I think you might like it. Oh, you'll love it a lot. <laughs> um, and also, if you love, if you like this kind of content and you just need more of it, uh, make sure to visit our friends over at the Blueberry Podcast Network. Um, they got some great stuff going on. See that blue screen of death over there? No. Yeah, Blueberry turned, Podcast Network. Sure. Um, that is where there's some good content over there. So uh, yeah. thanks for joining us this week, everybody. 
It was fun. It was enjoyable. I like those apps. Yeah. And they worked great on that tablet. Yeah, I like this tablet. We'll be reviewing this in a, a couple episodes mm-hmm. on the Android Tech Show. Make sure you check that out, the Android Tech Show.com. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week.